Radical action for mountain people's survival, also known as RAMPS, is a nonviolent direct action campaign based in the southern coal fields of West Virginia. They're dedicated to ending all forms of strip mining in Appalachia and believe their greatest contribution to reaching this goal is to undertake locally supported direct action. They are here to fight for the survival of the land and people of Appalachia, the right to a healthy and sustainable future with clean air and clean water. To achieve these goals, they are up against much more than an unjust mining process. RAMPS is fighting decades of repression by the coal industry and its agents. They are fighting the inept, if not corrupt, regulation agencies and government. RAMPS is fighting out-of-state land companies who hold this land and therefore its people's lives as a commodity to be auctioned off. They are fighting national ignorance and indifference to the oppression of the Appalachian people. The direct action tactics are part of a larger movement to end mountaintop removal. That includes many organizations using a wide variety of strategies. Only by working with and complementing the other aspects of this movement can they dismantle the system of oppression and destruction that enables mountaintop removal. On July 29, 2012, Ramps, other Appalachians, and allies walked to the Hobbit Mine in Lincoln County, West Virginia, and shut it down while calling for the coal industry and government to ensure an end to mountaintop removal. Twenty members were arrested, and were, others were forced to walk over four hours home. This is what Ramps member Daniel Steele had to say prior to being arrested and beaten, along with 19 others, for standing up against mountaintop removal. Rich man and me don't have very much in common. Um, coal operator and me don't have very much in common. Me and a coal miner got something in common. Like, we're, drink we're drinking the same shitty water. We're breathing the same shitty air. We're dealing with the same flower rock that's like rolling down and hitting our neighbor's houses. That's happening to everyone, people employed by the industry or not. And realize that like when, when we're there and we're having this resistance, the only there when you have this reaction and hopefully the negative reaction of folks in the coal fields and the folks in the bond site won't be extreme but even if it's extreme realize that they're feeling that same fear of the future as what we are they're they're oppressed by the same mechanisms and they feel it in the exact same way i'm privileged um not everybody has had that chance not everybody has that privilege i was born middle class my folks have made it all right for about the majority of their lives you know i have a choice i have a choice of my choice isn't i gotta go to a coal mine where i can't feed my kids that's not a choice that's not a dichotomy that i have to operate in um but that scarceness that like feeling that something ain't right that feeling like we have to resist this force even if the like systems of power divert that energy until they get pissed off out of out-of-state tree huggers the thing is that energy is still there they're like people are pissed off here and they damn well should be and it's all at least in my opinion it's only a matter of time until we, until the people of Appalachia figure out who we need to be pissed at and who we need to be resisting. Um, my grandfather was a union coal miner for 27 years. Um, it's it's absolutely and it's it's so good because when you have a when your parent, the person who raises you, um, has been in those struggles like my grandpa was in Blackberry Creek, my grandpa like fought the scabs, fought the scabs all his damn life. And like for me, it's like sometimes resistance grows so slowly, but I feel for me like having that union background, it's, it's, it's as natural as breathing, it's natural as walking. And like for, I feel like a lot of folks and hopefully for, for you guys here too, that resistance is that same natural process because it is because there is things that aren't right here inherently in coal and in extractive industries everywhere it's just not it's the people who's blowing up the mountains are the people who are kicking people's out of their homes in new orleans they're the people who's fracking in pittsburgh it's the same people it's that same forces of power that causes that oppression and from here regardless of that background when you fight oppression anywhere you fight oppression everywhere go to rampscampaign.org for more information